over this past number of months uh, during the lockdown period, been speaking to uh, the great and the good of uh, music, entertainment and uh, uh, other professions as well. I'm delighted to say hello to a gentleman, uh, singer, songwriter and performer, popular man indeed uh, around uh, the UK for many, many years. Has written many fine songs as well. I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Eugene Doonan. Eugene, how are you? Hello, Jerry. Good to talk to you. Same as that, Eugene. Same as that. Listen, you, you were doing uh, you were doing extremely well in music before the uh, lockdown and all the rest of it happened. Yeah, I was going along. Uh, I was going just nicely. You could say I was out every weekend. Indeed. And things were just just going. You know, things were just going along. Uh, couldn't ask for any better, really. Indeed. And then, <laughs> and then, in the middle of March, <laughs> it sort of stopped. <laughs> yes. It did. It and did. Here we are. And here we are. Just uh, you know, just, well, not doing a lot really. Indeed. But we have to, you know, we have to, we have to get on with it. And and just, uh, fight it, fight it to the end, I suppose. Indeed, that's it. That's it. That's all. That's all that we could do. Eugene, you've uh, the, the, the image you is that not alone. Uh, you know, you're a singer and entertainer, uh, but you're also a songwriter. You've written uh, a lot of material. Yeah. Well, that that started off. Uh, I didn't. I never meant to be a songwriter. I just sort of started off. I wrote a couple of songs, and then I just, I just followed up. And then I, I got a CD with my own songs, and then I done another one. And uh, I, I don't know where the songwriting came from, but it, it just came along, and I just, I kept writing. If you know what I mean? Right. It's never, it's never, it's never my intention. Right. And, uh, no, I was quite delighted with some of the songs and a few the. A few of the guys have recorded them, so they must be okay. Indeed, yeah, there's several, uh, definitely are. I mean, there's uh, several people have recorded them. Yeah, and I've, uh, I've a lot of a lot of songs written that I that I haven't recorded. Right. Only uh, I might get round it, but uh, for the present moment, they're uh, <laughs> they're staying tucked up. Right. But now we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. But as I say, it's just it's a, it was never planned. It just came along and. That's quite amazing. Yeah, yes, it is funny because I, I was more of a, I like the old songs, the big Tom, the Gene Stewart, these guys, and I was quite happy just listening to them guys and playing the records. Right. And then, and then singing their songs, but then this other thing came along, the songwriting came along out of wherever it came from, I don't know. Right. I, say it is, I was quite pleased with it overall. Indeed, no, the, 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 some of the songs have been uh, excellent. I mean, for example, uh, uh, Seamus Moore, uh, he recorded the uh, uh, Leaving County Kilburn and uh, did a, a totally different arrangement uh, on it to uh, the recording you did. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, again, that was just... Uh, I read sort of, like, true stories, if you know what I mean. That's yes. an actual song. The Irish people, when I was writing that song, the Irish people were leaving Kilburn. Um, yes. The people from the Eastern Bloc were coming over, so it's just again, but uh, as you say, you know, it's I'm glad somebody else liked it. And Seamus good good on him. He recorded it, so uh Indeed, so another well, continue as the man says. <laughs> Indeed, now you did, you did another song which was uh, uh, the uh, the songs of Donny Gall, which uh, the Slim Attraction also recorded. Yeah, that's that's yeah, Slim was telling me that's one of us. One of his more popular songs, he gets a little, quite a little request for it uh, when he was doing the gigs and that. And again, it's just another nice, simple sing along song. Indeed, indeed. And so, it, and, uh, and Slim does a nice, he does a nice job. He does a nice production. So, uh, no, it was very good. Indeed, 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 indeed it is uh, excellent. You've been involved in music, Eugene, for a long, long time yourself. I've uh, been playing since I was a kid, listening oh. more, more listening. <laughs> And then just watching the bands, and probably was my hobby. You know, people go to football, people do this, people do that. My, my hobby was going and just watching the bands, right? From from, from the mid seventies, and uh, that's where I wrote a lot of songs with various different artists and about the music. I wrote the song about the, the old dance hall. It was one of the first dances I went to, right? And uh, I watched the Brian Calls and Gene Stewart and all these boys. Yes, that was taken from the album he wrote the songs, uh, the dance hall near Drum Quinn. And here again, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. as you were saying, it's it's very much uh, it's very much about true to life, and it was about uh, yeah, yeah. how it was in the dance yeah. hall. That's, that's the way it was. You know, you'd go out there on a Friday night, you'd be queuing up to get into the dance hall, you'd be pushing, shoved around the dance hall, <laughs> <laughs> and it's all just the way it was. It was. 
Indeed, indeed. He's, so he's a five, he's a six, seven piece band up on stage, and I'm just just like a dream come true watching all these guys. Indeed, so, uh, I'm I'm glad I was there to see it. So indeed, it was a little bit different now, or different before lockdown and that. Well, it was. No, it was good. It was good. Very good. And he did. Those are those were old. Uh, those were old magical days, and uh, uh, definitely were. But uh, no, like uh, back in those in those uh, youthful days, you were going to uh, numerous dance halls around the place. Oh yeah, you travel out. You, I, I grew up in Fermanagh, but you'd be going to Donegal. You'd be going to Tyrone. You just jump uh, jumped into a car, and away you go. And it didn't matter who was there. Was always a good, decent band playing. Right. There was plenty of variety them days. You know what I mean? Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's right. You could see all the band. Ah, it was brilliant. Brilliant. Good, good old days. Indeed. Indeed. So, hey, you're very, you're very popular. You saw Eugene doing uh, sort of, uh, you know, social dancing and music for, uh, uh, music for, like for doing sort of the, the social dances and then in clubs more recent times. Yeah. Yeah, well, as I say, uh, I watched the band for umpteen years and I sort of, I sort of worked out what they would do. I wouldn't, you know, when uh, you go to the Guilty Bar in these places and you see the professionals at it. So I, I wouldn't say I copied them, but I, I sort of knew the format of how it worked. Right. If you know what I mean. Well, it was slow songs, fast song waltzes, and you sort of worked out and you watch the people, you sort of know their favourite songs and, and you try to learn. And I think I walked it out at the end. It was okay. It was, the dancers liked it. And as I say, I was travelling up and down the country, so uh, no, it was good. It was very good. Indeed, indeed. So I bet uh, one of the things that most singers say about uh, since the, the whole lockdown and that is uh, missing meeting people and, uh, you know, having a chat with people. Well, yeah, it's, it's going from meeting, you know, meeting people every weekend to, to, to meeting no one. The only <laughs> people I meet now would be to ring up people to, like yourself now, talking over the phone and that. Yes. There's a whole lot. The whole. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you're meeting. You know, you're meeting people every day, and now you're not. Yes. Basically, it's it's like it's come to a full stop, sort of thing. Indeed, it has. Indeed. All, I know we're all hoping and hoping and praying it's going to open up again in the near future. Indeed. It's, you know, it's a hard thing to explain. You're just you know, you're traveling around every weekend. And then all of a sudden you're not. You don't mind being out the other way again. And now we're going into three into our fourth month of basically doing nothing. And that's, I don't know. We might get used to it. We don't want to get used to it. But yeah. We just have to. We have to deal with it as we, as we as we go along. Indeed, indeed, that's the thing. That's the thing about it, yeah. and that's that's just uh, that's sort of the way it is. It is a huge shock, I'll have to say, to the system. You know, when you're uh, you know when you're out every yeah, weekend. But, yeah, but, yeah, but you can also imagine. It's a bit of a shock for us to go out and do the entertainment. But imagine all the people that have been dancing, going to the dances, going to the clubs for the last 40, 50 odd years. You know, it's not a shock for them people as well. That was their life. They came over here in the 50s, 60s. And now they did the dance. That was their entertainment. Indeed. Indeed, that's and, true. And, uh, you can only imagine how it feels for them. So, uh, you know. Indeed, so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely huge, yeah. huge uh, shock to uh, shock to the system. Uh, I think uh, that everything about all of this has been a huge shock to our systems. Uh, we, uh, uh, I don't think anybody could uh, ever have seen something like this coming along. No, it wasn't. It certainly wasn't in the pipeline, now, but uh, it's just one of those things, and we have to. We sort of have to accept it and sort of well, do the best we can to. Indeed, so that's all. Sort, sort of goes away. That's, that's all we can do. It's all, indeed, that is all That is all we can do. Eugene, listen, it's been lovely to catch up with you. Uh, thanks very, very much indeed for uh, uh, for talking to me. I, I wish you well, uh, yourself, your family, uh, uh, safe, uh, uh, safety uh, above all. And, uh, and uh, if you, listen, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the new songs when uh, you eventually get them uh, uh, recorded. And uh, listen, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll hopefully meet up sooner rather than later along the way. <laughs> I hope so, Jerry. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us on the show and best of luck to everybody.